Good morning. I'm Peter Melios from the Finance News Network. Stocks eked out narrow gains on Monday to build on last week's strong rally, with the Nasdaq Composite notching its longest positive streak since January. Overall, the Nasdaq jumped 0.3%, while the S&P 500 edged up 0.18%. The Dow Jones Industrial Average inched up 0.1%. NVIDIA added 1.7%, boosted by optimism from Bank of America ahead of its earnings report. Bumble shares slipped 4.4% after the dating app announced its CEO will step down in January. Shares of Solar Edge Technologies tumbled 5.1% on the back of a downgrade from Wells Fargo. Earnings season is winding down, with more than 400 S&P companies having already reported quarterly financial results. Investors this week await updates from Walt Disney, Wynn and MGM Resorts and Occidental Petroleum. Yields also moved higher, reversing last week's trend, with the 10-year Treasury yield last up 9 basis points at about 4.653%. Traders will be watching Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell this week, who is scheduled to speak twice in the coming days. Last week, the central bank kept rates unchanged for a second straight meeting as bond yields tumbled. Investors are hoping the Fed's rate hiking campaign may be nearing an end. In crypto-related news, altcoins including Litecoin and Ripple's XRP saw a significant price increase on Monday, driven by renewed confidence and interest in the cryptocurrency market, with tokens tied to Polygon and Cardona also advancing. Meanwhile, Bitcoin and Ether remained relatively stable after their weekend spikes, following a historical pattern of Bitcoin leading rallies in the crypto market, cryptocurrency market. Turning to US sectors now, tech and healthcare are the best performers, whilst real estate was the worst. Shifting our attention to the Australian landscape, all eyes are on the Reserve Bank's policy statement scheduled for 2.30 p.m. It is anticipated that policymakers will favour a 0.25 percentage point hike in the cash rate target, bringing it to 4.35%. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.2% fall. Thank you for listening.